Well, we just finished harvesting down at Travis's place, so we can say that Travis's place is 100% done. There is a small field of corn across the road, but uh, that could be considered separate in my eyes, so. Travis is probably going to come down with the 76 uh, later today, and he's probably going to cut some stalks because we need to start getting some stalks cut and start making some fodder bales for bedding for the cattle this winter. So, it's about three o'clock. We started here at like eight this morning, but it feels good to have it all done. This is one of the bigger farms, so once this one's done, the other ones really don't seem to take quite so long. Hey everyone, it's Ryan. We are out at my place. We just got Travis hooked up to the Rhino 4155 rotary mower with the 7600. So, uh, as you know, if you've watched our previous videos, we have finished Travis's place, and we came out to my place, we did one strip, and we did par part of another one uh, to fill up the 20,000 bushel grain bin. So right now, the 20,000 bushel bin and the 10,000 bushel bin are both full. So, for the time being, um, as far as harvesting, we gotta wait until the first comes around before we really keep pushing anymore. Uh, mostly because most of our contracts start coming up uh, after November 1st. So we really can't sell a whole lot until then, which luckily is really soon here. So uh, what Travis is doing is he hooked the 7600 up to the Rhino mower, and he is going to start mowing some stalks. Uh, to get our cattle through the winter, we, what we typically do is we go through and bale up a bunch of corn fodder to use as bedding. The cattle also treat it or act like it's a treat because they will eat it. Um, it. It's not quite as good of a bedding as straw because it doesn't soak up quite as much moisture. But for people like us uh, who don't do a lot of work with straw, um, we tend to just bail up the corn fodder, fodder and call it good. A lot of people have told us, told us in the past to uh, bail up so soybean straw, but I hear that soybeans are pretty bad for eroding anyway, and they are, um, to take off any more chaff that's sitting on top of the ground and let it sit over winter just doesn't go very well with the whole conservation plan with contours and all that fun stuff. So Travis is out. He's getting started right now, and I'm going to fly the drone around him. After he's done here, he's going to go down to his place because uh, the two biggest places that we really need fodder is here and down at his place um, that way if he bails some here and some down there we don't have to do quite as much uh, transportation so he's about to get started
to the Rhino 4155 flex swing mower, we are more able to cut more stalks in a shorter amount of time. With dad's old woods mower, uh, this one strip out of my place probably would have taken Travis most of the night. <laughs> because the flex swing is able to do twice as much and we are able to drive faster. And it helps us get done with cutting stocks and making them, making them a heck of a lot faster. Uh, case in point, this afternoon they are calling for rain. So thankfully we should, should be able to get all these stocks made. I mean, it would have kind of been tedious to come out here and just bail out this one strip out at my place, but Travis was able to go down to his place last night and cut some more stocks. So dad has already left to go down there and rake and Travis is just finishing up out here. So they are calling for rain, but hopefully this har this week we can continue to harvest, um, assuming that the weather doesn't take a nasty turn, but they are saying it's supposed to get up in the 60s again, which is a good thing. But we got a frost last night, and a lot of the smaller weeds are killed off, thankfully. And um, a lot, some if you look across the fields, especially the, where the soybeans are, um, all of the soybeans that went through the combine are popping up. So for us, it's just kind of like a good feeling just to get those killed off because it kind of makes you upset when you see how many beans are actually out there. But it's pretty normal. You don't get everything, and the combine is not 100% efficiency. So Travis is about to leave, and that should be about it for this video. Uh, I just wanted this one to be more laid back and um, just of the whole operation from start to finish, which we got to go through and we got to pick up all these bales yet but that's for another time so thanks for watching guys be sure to check out all of our other videos be sure to like comment and subscribe be sure to check us out on facebook instagram twitter and snapchat all how farms work and if you are interested in any how farms work clothing go to our store www.howfarmswork.com and use the coupon code harvest17 to save 10 percent on any of our shirts in our official store so thanks for watching guys